Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Anime Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to manipulate or adjust shapes. Basically, you build a shape, but you often don't get it exactly the way you want it. And I'm going to show you two ways to do that. The first, as you'll notice here, the first thing you'll notice is that I've got a circle here with a little stroke on the outside. Okay, easy to do. I just use this little old circle oval tool and drew a shape. Now, let's say I want to adjust maybe and make it a little wider or make it a little longer at different parts. Two ways to do it. The first way is you want to go over here to your selection tool, which is your default tool, and then watch this. As I come in close, you're going to see that once I get close to the line, you're going to see the little, I guess you could call that a curved line underneath the arrow. This is the first way that you can manipulate or adjust the shape. As I go around it, you're going to see here that as I get really close to the edge, I can manipulate it. So if I want to draw and make the top part, let's say, a little longer, I'm going to left click on it while that is there, and I'm going to move it up. And look at that. Now it's no longer a perfect circle. It's an egg or something to that effect. If I want to do that at the bottom, I'll just pick the part where I want to pull, and then I'll elongate it as well. And I can move it to the right, move it to the left, etc., etc. So I just wanted to show you this as a first option. I'll do a couple of really cool things here. Let's make that a little wider, that a little wider. Of course, this is an ugly shape, but whatever, that's not the point. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. All right, let's just go ahead and delete all of this. I'll build another shape, and I'll show you the second way. The second way is I'm just going to move it around. Now, you know what? Let me just grab both pieces. I'm going to move them here. Okay, good. The second way is you want to grab your selection tool, but this time grab the sub selection tool. When you do that, and I'm going to maybe zoom in a little bit so you can see a little better here. Let's go to 75%. I have the sub selection tool selected. Now, as I move, I'm going to click on it. And again, this isn't very easy to see, so it's a little frustrating. But when I'm hovering over it, you'll see that it's got a black little square there, a rectangle. When I hover over a anchor point, and these are called anchor points, it goes and it fills the inside with white, and it has a black stroke on that little square there. When I do that and I left click on that, I now get the handles, and I can start making adjustments to the anchor points. Note that this is a group, so these things, this is a shape, and it's all grouped together, but you can now go ahead and make very, very strange little changes. I'm going to take this anchor point and I'm going to move it out here. There we go. And then I'm going to make some adjustments. So I just want you to know that you can make adjustments two different ways inside Adobe Animate. It's a little different than Adobe Illustrator and Photoshop. That's why I'm doing the tutorial. <coughs> All right, guys. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.